All right, in order for this to work, we're going to need a few things. Um, so I'm going to provide the link here for this. There we go. Perfect. So you can find this document underneath this Arduino bookcase at Thingiverse, thing number 37997. Again, this is to get the proximity sensors, the IR proximity sensors working on it, and uh, a good test for them. So down below, I have the Arduino bookcase scratch pad. And we need to go to this link first. Download this. This is Sheriff's Arduino IR library. Go ahead and save it out. And once you save it out, it pretty much works like this. Just unzip it. Rename it to IR Remote, capital IR Remote. Copy it. And then go to C Drive, Program Files 86, and look for the Arduino build that you're using. Um, go to Libraries and make sure you paste it in here. Once you do that, you can now use that IR library and this code. So I can copy this. Oops, that's right, it's Google. They want you to use Control C. And then I, I pasted it in here. So I've already done that. Now let's just test some things out to make sure one every, everything's 100%. Uh, here's, here's what I speak of. I have my pin lefty tech is 8. So that should be on my left. Pin 8 on my left. Pin 7 on my right. Okay. So let's kind of look at this to make sure that is true. And I lost my pointer, but that's okay. So pin eight is this brown wire. And sure enough, my brown wire is on the right-hand side. Okay. In this case, it should be the other way around. So I just had to switch out these eight and seven to be seven and eight. Again, you'll find this out later on too when you get the lights working. It's it's pretty stupid simple. But I'm just going to check these wires. Okay, uh, 12 and 13. 12 is going to be on my left. Okay. And I know that to be true because on this side, my right hand one is the one without the resistor. So that's good. Um, the IR, as far as the IR LED, it's it's universal. It's in the center. They're both broadcasting out. And in case you, you're new to this, what's happening is infrared lights popping out of here at 38 kilohertz. And when it hits something, that's when this little guy right here can pick up that. You can see him right there. Three-legged little booger. Now, this thing is very, very accurate, too. That's what I like about it. Okay, so let's write this out and see what madness has occurred. Okay, now let me zoom out to show you how this works. Take note of my timestamp there. Nothing's changed. No magic. No voodoo. So if I put my hand here, green light pops on. Hoo -hoo -hoo. If I put my hand over here, red light pops on. Good. Okay, now let's cram all these wires in here just do some pseudo wire management cramming <laughs> yep 
just press it down. That's the beauty of the bookcase. These wires right here I'm not using, so I'm just going to kind of tie them into the center. Fold those down. Okay, I'm going to close this all up and look for my PLA spike, which I don't know if I have right off the bat. So I'm going to be using anything at my disposal. Do, do, do. Looking around for something to jam into sled slot. Okay, let me get up just for a second to make sure I have something. Ooh, here's an Allen wrench. Perfect. We will use it. Cool. <laughs> All right, now what I want to do is just kind of test this out. So that's about, I don't know, about four inches away, give or take. And then on my other side, Perfect. Now these things do adjust. All right. So there is my IR proximity sensor working. Again, IR light bouncing out, hitting me, and then the sensor picking it up. Later on, I'll have sonar. You can see the little sonar module up here. That's for really long distances. But uh, for right now, I think these might just cut it, and now I have to write some code to marry the two together. So I have to say, well, if both are on, something happens. If both are off, something happens. If one's off, one's on, etc. and so forth. So that's where I got some work to do, but that's the fun stuff. For right now, I know everything's working. I know that these are tuned and I know that these work. So I hope you enjoyed it so far as far as the debugging is concerned and I'll see you in the next video.